And so a couple of injury updates. As we mentioned, Rakia Jackson unavailable tonight. She actually is not in the building. She is out with an illness tonight. Notre Dame will be without Kassan Prosper, Olivia Miles, and Sonia Centron. Prosper being the new addition to that injury list. No timetable yet on when she'll return. Jasmine Powell finds herself wide open and picks up where she left off against Oklahoma. Well, inserting Powell into the starting lineup for Tennessee could be key. She brings the speed and quickness, and she also is that offensive threat from the three-point line. Maddie Westfell driving in. She'll kick back out to Hannah Hidalgo. That's number three in that Navy jersey. Puts up the jumper, bounces around a little drama, but she'll take her first bucket. There is not much this freshman cannot do, Hannah Hidalgo. We talked about her defense in the open, but offensively, she's no slouch either, averaging 25 points a game. So Tennessee starting five. You mentioned the change. Jasmine Powell coming into the starting lineup. And the put back there by Jewel Spear, the transfer from Wake Forest. A stat I'm going to keep an eye on for the this game. Destiny Wells, the transfer from Belmont, pulls it back out and they'll work it around to Jasmine Powell who finds herself amongst the trees inside. Wells at the top, they need her to score more. That's what she did at Belmont. Well, she did it when she played at Belmont against Tennessee. She put up yeah. 22 points. In the tournament right here in this gym. And the response on the other end from Kylie Watson. Tennessee in transition, Sarah Puckett, the feed from Destiny Wells. And defensively, Tennessee not going to be out in passing lanes. What they want to do is keep three-point play. Well, what Notre Dame did is they put Hidalgo back in that press instead of having her up on the ball. Tennessee started two point guards concerned about Hidalgo up front. Now she's on the back row. Why would you put her in the back of the press? Because she can anticipate those steals yeah. and those long passes. South Carolina taking on number 24, North Carolina at 7 Eastern. Miel Ivey in her fourth season, leading her alma mater, her 16th year as a coach at Notre Dame, her 21st season with the Fighting Irish program. Of course, she was a great point guard under Muffet McGraw. As Hannah Hidalgo hits that ball. Into the corner for Spear, no. Jasmine Powell skying in for the rebound and a foul called. Well, not just Neil Ivey, but Kelly Parker coaching at her alma mater. Of course, played under legendary head coach Pat Summit, was a three time national champion. Yeah, Kelly Harper, she even has at times that stare, that Pat Summit stare yeah. with those blue eyes. <laughs> before Puckett knocked it down. Five points for Sarah Puckett. Jasmine Powell seeing Elaine being aggressive. I love Jasmine Powell in the starting lineup. She brings that speed with the basketball. So if the defense doesn't rotate over, she can get to the right. Starters, Olivia Miles, also Sonia Citron. Those are two big parts of the offense for Notre Dame. Kaya Wynn brings it back. Puckett will swing it to Powell in the corner. Marshall from the free throw line, a bit short. Which team can control pace? Powell into the starting lineup has made the biggest difference for the Lady Vols. Notre Dame won for its last nine. You take careless, make careless passes, turnovers, and allow the Irish to run. This will be Notre Dame ball. Tess Darby with the steal. Win. Two for five, a rebound and assist, four points. 
going to try different things, feel it out. Just find ways to crowd them. If the primary defender gets beat, now what's that second line defender supposed to do? Hidalgo coming off the screen, it won't go. The Irish are one and done. I mean, that's a no pass offense right there. Tennessee on a 9-2 run. They are out rebounding Notre Dame 13-8. See Tess Darby, how careful she was. And Kelly Harper talked about pass fakes because she knows Hidalgo is anticipating those lanes. Holling Shed is stuffed. Back the other way for Notre Dame, up ahead to Hidalgo. DeWolf waiting all by her lonesome. Gets her own rebound. Second chance won't go, a third chance won't go for Notre Dame. Three good looks. And Notre Dame only two second chance points in the first quarter. Tennessee looking for that last shot. Notre Dame only 11 points in this first quarter. An almost four minute scoring drought for the Irish. It's almost half the quarter. And Hidalgo's prayer won't go. Ten minutes in the books and Tennessee up 19 to 11 here in Knoxville. I pointed out before a zero pass offense where she came down and just shot it. She's got to trust the offense to execute to get the shots that they want. Again, this is Notre Dame's second big test. They open up the season against South Carolina, have not played a ranked opponent since then. Held to their second lowest output in a quarter this season. The first was eight points. They went over four minutes without a bucket to end the first quarter. Well, Tennessee has done a nice job of taking care of the basketball. Only three turnovers in that first quarter. Yeah, that's against a defense that forces 23 and a half per game. Kaya Wynn steps back to the free throw line. Are you surprised to not see Jasmine Powell out there starting this quarter for Tennessee? Well, with Tennessee in control right now, and Powell played so hard in that first quarter, she's earned a few minutes yeah. on the bench to get a rest, Courtney. She needs a blow. You know, she's got to get her hydration in. She'll be back. Yeah, she was a great spark getting into that starting lineup today. Caroline Striplin uh, walked in the gym today. You could tell Caroline Striplin, she's gotten stronger, leaner, tougher. Uh, she's Caroline Striplin is extremely fit, and I like her base of how she posts up, getting her positioning inside. Jewel Spears, Swiss. Okay, the Lady Vols got a little bit of recipe for everything. They got it done inside. They got a little sprinkle from the outside. The offense is clicking for the ladies in orange and white. Shooting 40% from the field. Number 11, UConn against number 10, Texas on ABC. Tennessee's got to let it go. And he's short, that'll be a shot clock violation. You look at the size. Kyle Wynn has a long reach, and she's not going to be helping off Hannah Hidalgo. KK Bransford finishing through. Bransford missed a couple of games with a lower body injury. That was a great scramble by Notre Dame defensively. And they get themselves a turnover. Hannah Hidalgo up with it. Trying to work around Tess Darby. And Tennessee able to get the stop in transition on a team that loves to run. They got numbers, and Darby's alone over here in the corner. Stripling working. And Stripling got more and more minutes last season when Tamari Key went out. You just have watched her grow over the last season. Two for three tonight. And a DeWolf back to Maddie Westfeld. This layup for Notre Dame. That's been a problem. You got a mismatch with DeWolf on Stripling. 
scoring is still continuing it stresses the defense well and that's what makes tennessee so dangerous is that any of the players on the floor they don't run any specific offense to any specific person just when your option presents itself do your job knock down the shot wells in the double team they'll work it over to test darby take three there it is for test you can see kind of a sigh of relief and she just needed it to happen when the lights were on when it was game time yeah last four games she's only averaged five points per game was shooting 22 percent from three she's known as a great three-point shooter natalia marshall Notre Dame has gone into a zone, so it's going to be key that Tess Darby continue to look for a shot to open up the posting up of Strickland underneath. Ten seconds now. Destiny Wells drives in, draws the attack. For trying to go through and again a one and done for Notre Dame and now Notre Dame coming back now they've gone to a man-to-man -man. so switching up changing up their defense Destiny Wells yeah, Notre Dame started out 5 of 11 from the floor they're 4 of 20 cents and Tennessee's defense has been very, very effective. What adjustments offensively does Notre Dame need to make? Well, I think that they're trying to dribble it instead of move the basketball and move bodies. Hidalgo gets a shot off, but it's short. Marshall trying for the second opportunity. She gets fouled on the make your layups, but also trust their motion offense. Marshall one for two. Tess Darby coming around. Maddie Westfeld steps back. And a great box out by Destiny Wells. And it shakes the defender. Seven points for Wells. Put back by Marshall. Players on this team, she knew what she was going to get from Puckett, knew she was going to get from Powell. She needed Destiny Wells or Jillian Hollingshed to really step up on the offensive end. That's going to be an offensive foul. Shot almost 40% from three. She's got this season and one more to play at Tennessee. Seconds. That one helps out. Tennessee can take the last shot of the half. The Dolgo. Halftime here in Knoxville. Tennessee ends the half on an 11 to 5 run. Tennessee is not in the denial or not up the line. They're keeping Notre Dame in front. So you've got to screen and slip. You've got to be more disciplined in your offensive execution. Jasmine Powell probing sends it back to Jewel Spear. Ten seconds inside the hauling shed. She's got to go score that. Short on the shot. <laughs> Maddie Westfeld, the turnaround is short, and Jasmine Powell with the rebound. Tennessee very patient offensively. Spear thought about the step back. 
It was deflected by Notre Dame. Five seconds now. That's a two from Destiny Walls. Again, this is Notre Dame's second big test of the season. The first was when they opened up against South Carolina to start the year in Paris. And Hannah Hidalgo had 31 points in that game. Freshman <laughs> debut against South Carolina. She was about the only one that was having any success offensively. Tennessee didn't leave it shot in the locker room at halftime. <laughs> Brought it back out on the bench. Warmed it up. Kelly Watson from the elbow. She's at six points. But now for Notre Dame to get back in this game, they got to put back-to-back -back stops. They've got to try to speed Tennessee up. And Sonia Citron averaging 20 points per game. She's made three appearances, but dealing with that knee sprain. So Kylie Watson. Outside of the paint, they were 0 for 9. Tennessee Bolton getting the ball in the hands of Kylie Watson or Maddie Westfeld inside. Stripland somehow grabs the pass. Some tough Notre Dame press, but they left Jewel Spear open. And she strikes again. There they go immediately inside to Kylie Watson. Beautiful move. Ready to hit two threes in this quarter. Hidalgo pokes it free, and she's got an open lane to herself. Again, a player that has had 20 or more points in every game this year. Has four brothers. She said that's where the chip on the shoulder came from. I was playing with them, bloody noses. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Her dad was her high school coach. She said she loved that. She wanted to be coached hard. She liked that challenge. Her role became even bigger when Olivia Miles got injured on February 28th. Hidalgo talked to us about, she thought, I'm going to come in as Maddie Westfeld hits. I'm keeping an eye on Olivia Miles because Hannah said that Olivia talks to her in the process of the game and gives her advice on what things she could do better. Now, one of Olivia Miles' biggest strengths is her vision of the floor, how she sees the game and things develop. Puckett misses the turnaround. But she's learning while she's sitting over there. She said, I'm finding where I can score and where my passing paths can be. Go in the first half, she was two for 10 from the field. And now at the free throw line, this is the first. Emphasis on getting the ball inside here in the second half. Well, Notre Dame's leading Tennessee in the paint. Into pocket. Wells from deep misses everything. To see if Notre Dame uses Kylie Watson in ball screen action. If the defense is going to play off of her, oh, they just went straight to post up Manny West. Right behind that Tennessee defense. Notre Dame's cut it to nine. Tennessee's led by as many as 14. Pockets off. Marshall on the floor. Jump ball. It's going to the Irish. Westfield caught up in the double team. Pocket with the turnover and then gives it right back to the leading stealer in the nation. I told you, Neil Ivy was going to find a counter, make her adjustment now. How does Kelly Harper stop the bleed? You do it right there. Tess Darby knocked it down a three. Darby's got her second three of the night. They go right back to Maddie Westfeld underneath. Pocket rejected by Westfeld. Numbers for Notre Dame. Nat Marshall continued to pound the ball inside and get those paint points that has helped Notre, Notre Dame chip away and cause this to be a six-point game. 
Notre Dame nine for ten in the third quarter from the field. Wow, that is ninety percent. Even I could do that. You, yeah, you're quick with it. Yeah. Hidalgo trying to shake Powell. Bounces out and Jasmine Powell. Powell shut down by the Notre Dame defense inside. And Hannah Hidalgo off to the races. Marshall running with her and it pays off. for Anna DeWolf, the transfer from Fordham. Turnovers now are becoming a problem for Tennessee. They've had four turnovers in their last five minutes. They were doing so well with that in the first half. Powell looking for the last second bucket to spin. Going to the free throw line. Count it. She has provided Tennessee a spark since she entered that starting line. Yeah, Notre Dame hadn't hit a three tonight, but Anna DeWolf is one of the threats, which would allow, without her on the floor, for Tennessee to really pack it in the paint defensively. She's got three steals. This is a woman that on the season has averaged 6.3 steals a game. So what adjustments do you make if you're Tennessee? Well, they've got to just be more deliberate and patient offensively. But you also have to play to win. You can't play hesitant. Literally. Having Matt Marshall, Maddie Westfeld, and Kylie Watson on the floor at the same time. It was deflected by Powell. Hidalgo corrals it. It's Maddie Westfeld. Notre Dame still without a three tonight. Wells feeding Hollingshed, trying to get around Watson. All getting you ready for Georgia and Alabama. After the game, you can join the SEC football final. ACC SEC challenge, the first of its kind. Five games today, nine games tomorrow. This one has certainly been good. Westbelt coming around off the screen. Maddie Westbelt has really been working with Carlos Knox, their new director of player development. He's helped her really grow that confidence. That's going to be a foul. <laughs> hey, it's only game two of us together so far. <laughs> All right, Maddie Westbelt. And Tennessee had the experience against Oklahoma. It was a back and forth game. They were able to grind it out. Can they protect home court? Oklahoma State and Texas at the Big 12. Louisville and Florida State for the ACC crown. And Sunday at noon on ESPN, the exclusive reveal of the final college football rankings. Pow, around the bigger defense. She's coming off a season high, 19 points, including the game winner against Oklahoma. Hidalgo drives and kicks back to Marshall. Got it. I'd give the ball to Striplin right there. She's posting hard. Yeah, most times when she gets it down there, she can get herself to the free throw line. Like and to keep their opponents from right there at the free throw line. Drive. That was Sarah Puckett that got it. It's hard to tell if Notre Dame actually touched it last. You give Nat Marshall all kinds of chances, she's going to finish. She's up to 13, one of three Irish in double figures. Stripling, going inside. 
Strickland has had success once she gets the ball down low. Four Lady Vols in double figures tonight. Watson can't finish. The kick out to win. Carey was her high school basketball coach. She actually played AAU with her now teammate, Sarah Puckett, number one for Tennessee. See, I don't know why I know they didn't take advantage. Bransford was Wells on her. She should go post her up. Marshall Kerr. Now, Kylie Watson went to the bench with four fouls. She was big presence inside for the Irish. Maddie West, Westbelt comes up with the rebound. They've out-rebounded Tennessee here in the second half. And it's a wall for the short corner. I like that cross screen, but you got to be ready to make the pass to Strickland. Tennessee retakes the lead. Jasmine Powell inserting her to the starting lineup, and she has not took it, taken her foot off the gas. Up behind the head there for Hannah Hidalgo, and we're tied at 64. Sarah Puckett at the line. Tomorrow is the ACC SEC Challenge continues. South Carolina, North Carolina. Heard that game is sold out, right? That's right. An important game for both of these teams. Hidalgo, still no threes for the Irish. Tennessee's fourth ranked opponent of the season, the second for Notre Dame. Their second biggest test. Powell can't finish coast to coast. Back the other way. DeWolf. Here's what's going to be interesting. You've got a freshman point guard for Notre Dame. You've got veterans that run the point for Tennessee down the stretch. Notre Dame with two timeouts left. Tennessee with three. Off the back of the iron by Marshall. Westfeld with the hustle, but gives it back to Tennessee. Lady Vols turn it right back over. The Wolves limited minutes in this game due to foul trouble. That puts her at nine points. Up to double. If you're Tennessee, how do you not give it to Striplin, who's facing Watson right now? I don't understand. I, they need to go to her. Or take the open lane to the basket. Right. Describe <laughs> number three in blue for Notre Dame. Anna Hidalgo held to six points in the first half. She has had to earn all 13 of those points tonight. Seven rebounds, seven assists. Six seconds. Jewel Spear. Powell trying to give herself some room. Air balls it. But offensively, what does Notre Dame need to do? Ball screen. You ball screen and then get into a high-low action. But you see Caroline Strickland, she's really playing controller down low. Marshall's looking for Watson, can't get it there because she's covered up by Strickland. Guess who can, though? Jewel Spear to inbound for Tennessee on the far side. Just want to make sure that Jasmine Powell. <laughs> oh, a foul. 76% free throw shooter. One for one from the charity stripe today. This is the first.
Tennessee within one. Notre Dame doesn't burn a timeout. Just want to handle the pressure because they are in control. Tennessee's going to have to have to foul. And they will. That'll put Anna DeWolf at the line. A little under 67% from the free throw line. And she's two for two today. Kelly Harper's got to be thinking timeout. <laughs> Wells back to Sarah Puckett for three. And Maddie Westfeld crashes the glass. So just a common foul on Sarah Puckett. Brock held at 10.8. And Maddie Westfeld knocking him down at the free throw line. Well, Notre Dame doesn't have, they just want to be smart. Get a stop, hold it, because Tennessee's going to have to foul. Kassan Prosper, Olivia Miles, and Sonia Citron all out. And they've come back. And the adjustment, the L. Ivy made with this Irish team of going inside, specifically to the post players. I'm sure she challenged her team to battle on the glass and rebound. It's been an incredible comeback. Hidalgo with the steal, won't get the last second bucket to fall, but Notre Dame on the road facing all kinds of adversity. They come back from trailing by 16 points.